guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to take you guys to the pool with me. Paris has been taking swimming lessons for the past week and a half. She is 20 months old, which makes her just over a year and a half. And you guys always ask me how she's doing. Is she doing good? How old is she? She's doing amazing, you guys. And even though I don't make a ton of content with my babies because I do think that they deserve their privacy, I do like to bring them along once in a while so you guys can see how they're doing and you guys can see how my family is growing. Baby Paris has learned a ton this past week and a half. She has taken exactly four classes and she's learned things like what to do when you fall into the pool, how to hold your breath, and if there are some parents out there that are looking to put their babies in swimming lessons but don't know what to expect, that's what this video is about. I know that if I would have seen a vlog like this of a parent just talking about what happens in the swimming lessons, what they do, what they don't do, I would have probably been so much more calm instead of the nervous wreck that I was right before the swimming lesson I've already put Haley in swimming classes so my oldest which is 13 years old right now she learned how to swim when she was a baby and it's been a fantastic blessing right now I think it's the perfect time for baby Paris to learn how to swim since she doesn't have any fear of the water and needless to say she doesn't cry she has so much fun she already knows when I'm about to put her bathing suit on that we're going to the pool there are things that she's already doing by herself like she counts one two three and holds her breath all by herself and I'm just like and I'm just so amazed at how quickly they learn but while the information is fresh I do want to share it with you guys so you guys can just have an idea of what to expect for those of you that are new here my name is Queen V that's V I I press the red subscribe button and become a honeybee today for free good mama big fat like and without further ado let's get to the pool so on our way to the pool, I have to show off a little bit because these days, I don't even have to bring my keys to the pool anymore. And that is thanks to today's sponsor, Tiho. This, my friends, is my Wi-Fi Smart Lock by Tiho. I can unlock my door just by using my fingerprint and it will either auto lock by itself in 30 seconds because that's how I set it up, or I can press any key for two seconds and it'll lock. This lock also holds 20 different pin codes and 20 different fingerprints. And with the app, I can set up temporary pins for friends and family that are valid for 30 minutes and they auto delete themselves as soon as they are used. Of course, it also brings a set of physical keys and the keypad is waterproof. So it still protects your home during winter, summer and rainy days. The setup is super simple. I'm gonna show you guys right now how quickly you can set this up. I also downloaded the app that comes with it and I receive instant notifications right on my phone so I can see who's coming in and out on real time. With the app, you have remote sharing so you can contact anybody that needs to be contacted and send them temporary codes. This Wi-Fi smart lock is powered by four AA batteries that is estimated to last a whole year. And you can scan the code behind your smart lock to add other devices. The Tiho fingerprint smart lock is currently priced at 20% off on their website right now. So I will link them down below so you guys can get yours right away. So now that we have arrived to the pool, I want to remind you guys to be sure that you're using some type of natural eardrops in your baby's ears after the pool to prevent infection. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the baby into the pool. So Paris is going to sit right here. I'm going to put my arm in front of her. And this is kind of like a little security belt so they know that they have to wait for you to get into the water. So I've done that. And she's already gotten in a couple of times so she's super eager. You ready? Let's go! So Paris is already in the water. And the first thing that we have to do is make sure that we have a lot of fun with her. We'll sing a song, we'll do a little bit of playing, and it's very important that throughout the whole time, you're really happy, you're really content, you're smiling. When you splash water on their face or when they go underwater, it is important that you're not like, 
worry the whole time because if you worry your baby's gonna worry so try to do a lot of praise a lot of happiness throughout the whole time even if internally you're dying because I know when I bring her underwater and I bring her back up I get so nervous all the time but I really try to smile a lot at her say wow wow you just said you can jump and then she loves it and she's eager to try it again she's already counting I don't know if you guys can hear her but she but she's already doing all the breathing techniques. She's only done four classes. And she's going. You want to blow bubbles? You want to try it? You want to try it? So the idea of this exercise is to, yeah, <laughs> it's to teach your baby to not inhale the water in, but to blow it out. And that's why we blow bubbles. So after we've done some singing and some dancing and some playing, which we've already have done with the baby, we do the bubbles as I just showed you. And then number three, we're going to splash her, but we're going to say one, two, three. And every time we get to three, there is no going back. You have to do it so she knows already that she has to hold her breath. So we go one, two, three. <gasps> Yay! Yay! So you see how she didn't cry, she didn't get upset. It's because mommy's happy. And all the times that we've done it, mommy's happy. So she reflects that same emotion back to you. We're gonna do it again. You ready? One. Two, three. <gasps> wow, you do a good job. In class, we'll practice it three times. So yeah. remember when you say one, two, three, to blow on their face like this. Because when you blow on their face, they go like this and they automatically hold their breath. We're gonna practice some kicking. So I'm going to have her hold on to me like this. <laughs> Kicking is very important, but they tend to to bend their knees a lot. Yeah. So we're going to hop her, and we're gonna go like this. Kick, 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 that was all in the first class. In the second class, we were doing what they call scoops. Yeah. So that's the second step to holding yeah. the hold, yeah. to them holding their breath. So we go one, two, three. <gasps> Yay! All done. Again. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> wow! You did such a good job! Yeah! Wow! All well done, yeah! So each exercise, each exercise we like to do three times, maybe four, but you don't want to do it excessively because you don't want to exhaust your child. You don't want to make it from it being fun to it being like upsetting or boring. So we don't want to do it more than three or four times each class and that's what we've been doing we just take it easy take it step by step even uh even though she takes classes three times a week we still come to the pool on the days that she does not take classes and we're all done with the scoops so let's pause it we need to get her toy One, two, three. <gasps> yeah. all done all done okay all done for now she can be no no okay no 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 all done all done all done <laughs> She's like, <laughs> okay, so in the first class, we did the splashing as I showed you guys. In the second class, we dunked her underwater with scoops. And in the third class, we're already pushing her underwater for three seconds. In the fourth class, we're pushing her for four seconds. Yes, are you doing bubbles? You have to encourage your baby every chance you get because. This is about having fun, safety and fun. Wow, did you do a big bubble? Did you do a good job, Paris? So 
but now we're gonna put her underwater and I want to tell you guys per class so you guys don't do everything in one day if you're ever gonna practice any of these exercises with your baby um, we just do it a separate different time so they can get used to it little by little so now we'll be quote-unquote in third class when we put our baby underwater for three seconds so how we do this is what they call the shark hold so we're gonna have one hand under her arm and the other one just over her knee like this so she feels supported but not excessively supported and she can start getting used to not having that support so I'm gonna pass her on to Haley and Haley, at, at the second of three, she's going to pick her up. And we're gonna do the same one, two, three count. Wow. Are you ready, Miss? Are you ready? Wow. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Yay! So usually I practice this with dad, but dad is recording right now. So I'm practicing with big sister. Um, and we're gonna do it three times. Are you ready for it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay! Wow! So I noticed that Paris was lifting her head a little bit above the water. A little bit of a trick that they do is to lift the leg up when you're pushing them in the back. So then the head can come a little bit down. The next thing that we learned was getting out of the pool, crawling out of the pool, or what happens if the baby falls in the pool, then you teach him how to turn, get back to the wall, and then climb out. So we have Paris's little tour right here. In the first class, we practice the wall crawl. So they learn how to hold on and crawl. So what we do is we extend the toy on the side and then we put our bodies to, to their body so they're not like out, they're like flat. Ready? One, two, three. All right, give it to mommy. I like to count because she loves counting. One, two, three. Give it to mommy. Thank you. So I'm helping her with her hands right there, but you can just do one hand and she'll scoot the other one over automatically. All of these things just come with time, and I don't like to rush Paris, but I do want to teach you guys the technique. So next we're gonna learn how to crawl out of the pool. So what we do is we put the toy out here. Okay, she's ready for that one. I can sense her already trying to climb out. <laughs> no, no, not feet first. So we go elbow, elbow, knee, okay. Now come on out here. Yeah! Alright, give it to mommy. Yay! Alright, she puts she puts it back already because she knows what's up. All done, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, you ready? Elbow, elbow, knee. Other knee. Okay, climb on out. Alright, give it to mommy. And we're all done. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> okay. So as I said, we do each exercise three to four times. We don't want to exhaust the baby, and we just have to practice often. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is what happens when the baby falls in the pool. So we start doing it by sitting, and we're going to hold her by the wrists, and then I'm going to count one, two, three, bring her down, and then I'm going to twist her to where her hand She's already climbing. She's an expert. Yes! Yes! If she falls in the water, twisting her, putting her hands on the ledge here so she can then do the climb that we just taught her with the toy. All right, Paris, all done. Okay. Yeah. Ready? All right, so I want to hold it by the wrist and say, 
Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Holding her by the wrist so her hand can grab the ledge. One, two, three. <gasps> Twister. And then hands on the ledge. And then in class, we just started putting everything together. We started dunking her in all the way over here, having her reach this, climb out, you know, putting everything together just so you guys know where we go from this. But we're just gonna do it three times, but this time we're gonna be doing it standing up. Ready? Wow. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Terrace, Terrace had a great fall. One, two, three. Twist. There we go! <laughs> wow! Alright, we're all done! Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed Paris' swimming lesson, our little swimming lessons vlog. She's been a very, very busy bee. Don't forget to check out Tiho. I will link them down below so you guys can get your own security lock. And as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to press the red subscribe button and become a honeybee today for free. Give mama a big fat like and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! 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 Bye.